please explain the difference between rebirth and the reincarnation. Uh, rebirth and reincarnation. Hmm. Scary question. I'm so afraid to answer. Well, uh, all of us, we are reincarnation. Reincarnation is beyond Buddhist religion, you know, or Buddhist uh, spiritual organization, you know. It is beyond the Buddhism. Uh, how do I say it? How we perceive about Buddhism. It's about the truth, about the, the cycle of life. You know, it's uh, because many people, when they think about uh, reincarnation, you know, they think a little bit like, oh, it's a Buddhism, you know, especially the, how do I say, uh, South Asian Buddhism. They believe in the uh, reincarnation and all in Asia, they believe in reincarnation. No, that's not the point. The point is just like we never, you know, admit that we have an ego, you know, and then slowly we admit that we have an ego as over time we have a clarity and wisdom right so same as that so the you know just because you don't see it does not mean it's not there over time you will discover it you know because in the beginning when we you know start ourselves as a how do i say a dharma practitioner we don't have we don't have we don't we admit that i am a selfish person or i I have an ego problem or the pride problem or the jealousy problem. We don't admit to that. We don't even see it, let alone admitting it, you know. So gradually over time, as we develop with the Dharma practice, and then we start to see our fault, the negative fault over time, slowly, 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 slowly. Then we renounce, 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 renounce over time. So that's the one thing I need to explain to you because people, they say, oh, reincarnation is your view. I don't believe in reincarnation. It's, it's a very easy argument, you know, where you say, oh, I don't agree with that. It's the same argument as you don't believe that you have an anger issue. And over time, you believe that you have an anger issue, you know, that you tend to over, overcome slowly. You know, so like an example, how do I say... Um, like an example, like if you go a few hundred years back in the European, you know, times, that there was a time that people believe in, you know, all sorts of crazy things, uh, which is a little bit, a little bit beyond the line, basically. So I'm not saying we should go in that period of time. What I'm trying to say is that we are all reincarnation, you know, from our previous life, and um, but. The difference between the uh, uh, truku, you know, the difference between the truku uh, and uh, rebirth is that we, as an ordinary being, we are born without choice, but based on our karmic accumulation. You know, you can call it the karmic accumulation. You can call it the mm, positive and negative habit that we have accumulated over time. You can say it like that. You know. Um, you know, so the truku is not something that becomes a truku because you recognize them. You know, truku is a realization. Truku does not need a monastery to become a truku. You know, truku is a realization being who choose to come back to benefit all the sentient beings. You know, so truku does not need a title. You know, all this title and the hierarchy is basically a social, religious, all mixed together, you know, to keep, to keep it together as an organization, you know. So the true definition of truku, truku means uh, emanation, right? So it's not a, just a reincarnation, it's an emanation. Emanation of what? Emanation of the Buddha. You know, is the Buddha is sitting there and saying, oh, this is my emanation and then this is my emanation. No, of course not. Nature of the mind does not belong to anybody. It doesn't even belong to yourself. It doesn't belong to anybody. You know, the nature of the mind is there and you discover it. And then once you discover the nature of the mind, then you have the, you know, how do I say it? When, if you recognize the nature of the mind and when you have a realization over time, not just recognizing it, but having a realization, and then you have, uh, you know, a clarity to, you know, um, to be, to choose your rebirth and then all, also to, you know, benefit all the other certain beings. But people have to understand that 
in order to recognize the nature of the mind, you need to recognize the meaning of illusion. You know, in Tibetan, in uh, how do I say, in the Shangpa Masters, they said a very simple word. You know, Trulna Semje, Matrulna Sangje. You know, true means illusion. If you're in a state of the illusion, you are in a samsaric world. If you are in a non-illusion state, you are enlightened being. You are Buddha. You know, so it has it's a very simplified way, but you need to have a realization of what is the meaning of illusion and completely understanding, you know, in and out from every direction, not thinking, oh, I think I'm right. And the moment you think, oh, I think I'm right, and then that is also an illusion, you know. So you have to go beyond the duality state of mind in order to recognize and maintain and have a full realization. You know, so once you have a full realization, then you have, you know, a possibility to reincarnate. But then again, you know, the reincarnation, you know, Truku, does not need a Buddhist system. You know, so that's something we have to keep in mind. You know, a reincarnation being means uh, a sup the one who holds a great wisdom, right? So the one who holds a great wisdom uh, does not require many things, you know. The one who has a great wisdom is also a realized being. Is it you know it goes beyond the religion as we call a Buddhist as a religion or not religion, whatever you argue with that. Basically, it's an organization, right? There's a good people in it. There's a bad people in it. There's a fake people in it. There's a real people in it. There's a you know, there's a people so so many sort of there's a to so many different mixture of people in it, you know, so there's a different type of people in it, you know, so there is a reincarnation, you know, um, how do I say, as a Truku, but by giving a name uh, does not make them Truku. If you are desperate for a name, uh, then you are not a Truku, you know, then you are same as a, as a person who says, I am the king, you know, and uh, how do I say, oh, that is not the king. I am the real king. I'm the real son of this king, you know. And then having that kind of argument. It's the same thing, you know. So so if there is a so-called, uh, you know, reincarnation and desperate for a name, then it's not a, uh, how do I say, um, how do I say, mm, uh, it's not a realized being. It's simple as that. When you show the quality, then you become, you know, but, you know, you are being recognized as a Truku over time, you know, so, and it goes beyond the religion, you know, so there can be a Truku who is, a, how do I say, can be a military general who is trying to protect his country, to save his uh, own army from losing the battle or killing anybody, you know, preventing any kind of warfare. There can be a doctor who can be a reincarnation. You know, there can be a scientist who can develop a greater truth to to bring a sense of a greater solution in our humanity. You know, and there can be an environmentalist as a Truku. So it can be a Truku in so many different levels. It is beyond the race or culture or religion or the mindset or the tradition. You know, if the Truku is not beyond that, then it's no longer a Truku because then it's a limited realization limited realization all of us we are limited realization right you can drive a car i cannot drive a car so i have a limited realization i have a limited potential you know so uh, tuku means limitless already being in the state of limitless potential basically bringing a greater harmonious and happiness and greater benefit for the future, for the humanity, and also in general to all the sentient beings, you know. So, so that's something you need to, uh, you need to understand, you know. So, yeah.